Yeah, so uh, you uh, you had some uh, you had some beef with me. I'm judging from the tenor of uh, your comments towards me on Twitter. Now that I've lowered your guard with the pleasant from soft chat. <laughs> so so beef. I guess you can call it beef. I don't necessarily think I have beef with you. I, don't know, I with you have. Either, um, but it's Twitter, so we all hate each other. It's the rule. Exactly. Hundred um, percent. I do think. I think specifically that tweet about Cherry. And the one you made about you're like calling her a fraud. I think, I think. Those oh no, call, two I, I didn't call probably... Cherry a fraud. I actually don't no, dislike. No, no, you're, I don't dislike you're, Cherry. Uridite. You called Uridite a fraud. I think Uridite is a fraud. But continue, please. Right. So I think I think I think with Destiny's Orbiters especially, like, I, it seems like you're just really aggressive with them, and I I can't figure out why. It's going to be specific to every single person involved. Um, when I make comments about Destiny Orbiters in general, this is after a very long history of engaging with the whole fucking lot of them. Um, and I'm actually, I, I'm not actually that uh, off on Stardust. I've got disagreements with her. She can be a piece of shit in her own right, but I don't, I don't dislike that one. I think she's genuine. Is probably a strong word. I don't know her that well, and I'm not sure I trust her. But I, I don't think badly of her. Um. So I, I'm a little bit perplexed as to where you got that idea from. But with respect to... Um, well, we can go down the list if you like. Um, or you can you can bring up whatever you think is particularly uh, illustrative. It's your call. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, sure. If I'm I mean, honest, can... I'm, I'm bored to tears by any discussion about them. But I'll, I'll definitely go over with you. I mean, I guess we can just start with the comment about why you think... Uridite is a fraud. I guess yeah. we can probably start there. Sure. Why do you think she is a fraud? Well, my general engagement with Erudite, um, what was my initial engagement? Um, she has been waffling in terms of how she describes her credentials for some time, which by itself would not be a big deal. I wouldn't particularly care about that, except that she has explicitly gone out of her way to defend um, actual frauds, very opportunistically, people like Dr. K, for instance. And uh, pulling rank in order to disparage people who had very serious critiques against them. Um, there is actually no psychometrician or psychometrics degree in Canada that you can get. Just, just, just so you know. So she is a Canadian trained uh, clinical assistant or something of that sort. Oh, that's cool. A Knight's Calvary. I can definitely not kill that. That is, that's spooky looking. Um, so, where was I going with this? Right. Um, yeah. Sorry, hang on. So, I'm mul multitasking and I need like eight arms for this. Um, right. Uh, so when she says she's a psychometrician slash psychometrist, um, first of all, th these are two very different things. Uh, secondly, you actually cannot become a credentialed either one in Canada through any Canadian university. I actually found the uh, the program that she took, um, which she confirmed, and it's not that. Um, she claims that's colloquial. That is not the case. A psychometrician um, creates tests. That's their profession. Um, a psychometrist administers them. She apparently uh, made some kind of questionnaire for the Canadian government. I have no idea what that is. But that was an individual project that does not make her a psychometrician, um, and it doesn't qualify her to speak as an expert in defense of somebody who is deploying, who is selling quack science and very possibly um, in, engaging in some very severe malpractice that may or may not have contributed to somebody dying. Um, she has no idea what she's talking about at almost any topic that she covers. Um, she's just bad. She's a misinformation purveyor, and she has uh, used the inscrutability of her academic history um, to portray herself as an expert so she can uh, get undeserved deference in conversations um, in Destiny's sphere. So that's my issue with her, is it's, it's not just a matter of her being bad at what she does, which she is, 
It's not a matter of her, um, you know, being like a, a bad scholar. It's not a matter of me not knowing what her degree is and me requiring papers or something. It's a matter of her doing precisely what people criticize me of doing, which I don't do, and that is using her credentials as a bludgeon against other people to demean them um, and to override actual criticism of things that she says that she has not thought through. She's just a very, very disingenuous and callous person, so I, I have no respect for that one whatsoever. With respect to Cherry, um, I haven't said anything about Cherry that's not a complete reflection of her interactions with me. I have a stream on my channel in which she literally says exactly that. It's like, it, it was it was bizarre, and I don't I don't fault her for this. I think she was kind of like, I have a sense of what she was going for. She was kind of scrambling, but um, she tried to characterize me as obsessed with Destiny. I'm not. I have a very particular contention, or had a very particular contention with Destiny, um, over a right wing talking point that he agreed to uh, debate that I, me and some other people put a lot of work into, and that he just ghosted on and then continues to repeat. Um, but genocide, she. Right? Uh, yeah, no, 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 it was, um, this it was, was the, this uh, was progressive, uh, orthodoxy squeezing up professors in the university. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. People in like real life jobs getting fired because wokeness has gone too far. Yep. Yeah. Well, it happens to uh, left wing professors as it happens quite a bit, by the way, um, when we were, uh, discussing, um, Rashida Love, who did lose her position at the university, Erudite's comment on that without knowing anything about the situation was good. This is this is a person with no soul, um, and and no integrity whatsoever. Back to Cherry. Cherry tried to. Uh, Cherry was interrogating me about this, trying to cast me as obsessed with Destiny in a negative way. I, I am very negatively disposed to Destiny, but I'm not obsessed. I had a very strategic reason for doing what I did. What the hell are these things? There's like. <sighs> okay, guys, if your stools look like this, go see a doctor. Um. So she tried to cast me that way, um, and then uh, tried to explain why Destiny was actually not a bad guy. And her point of reference was, I'm, I'm not kidding here, you can go watch the stream yourself. It's got whale sperm on the thumbnail. Um, he, he, he streamed himself going to workout sessions for a little bit. That's literally it. Yeah, so yeah, cherries, this. cherries. I don't, I don't dislike cherry. I think cherry's a nice person at heart. Um, she does some very silly things, and she takes sides with people who are not very good. Um, and when she does so with respect to me, I'm going to respond as gently as I can in kind. So, so yeah. uh, gently is a word for it. Um, it's an. I don't know if I would call telling her that she argued with you so she could make Destiny love her gently, though. Especially that was a, that was a little mean. I think it's accurate, there. but it was a little mean. I I don't know if it's I don't know if it's accurate. So I think it's I will accurate. say I will say I've I follow Cherry probably a little bit more than some of the other orbiters. I follow Uridite a lot. I've not seen all of her stuff. Um, I probably follow them too most. Out of all the orbiters. Um, so I guess just to make this simple and for us not to like both of us go on for like 40 minutes each, maybe we'd start with your night. So I have not seen all of her content for sure. So there is a great chance that you have either seen things I haven't or you may have even seen more of it. Mm -hmm. But the times that I've seen her bring up her credentials have been times, um, I think conversations with mr girl is probably the greatest example of these times when people that clearly did not know what they were talking about tried to use some sort of authority over her um and i'm not a big person on the appeal she, to authority uh, she, thing. she characterized she characterized herself as a psychometrician in her first appearance on destiny this is this is something she's done from go it is not retaliatory um I don't have any love for Chud these days, but when uh, he was arguing with her about um, the Dr. K issue, and she was defending Dr. K, um, uh, she was laughing at him, uh, 
saying that it was it was insane that he doesn't know how hypothesis generation works. Now, hypothesis generation is is not some particularly highfalutin top uh, idea. It's literally what it sounds like. It's like different methods for um, giving you the ingredients to form a hypothesis. This can include anything from like interviews, observational studies, etc. Literally just giving you the stuff to make hypotheses about. Um, however, this term hypothesis generation, if you're somebody who's not in academia, you're not in the social sciences, and you're not familiar with this lingo, you might think, oh, this sounds like a particular method. This is some specific thing. I need to be very gentle with how I handle this, or I'm going to look like a fool if I say something that somebody with expertise in this field can simply point to and say, no, that's wrong. This is what it actually is. Um, and this is par for the course with her. She hides behind the inscrutability of her background and academic lingo that she herself barely understands. It's actually astonishing. Um, in order to, uh, in order to bully people. And that's, that's about it. That's, that's really it. And not just bully people. She's not even doing it for like anything that can be remotely, um, stretched to be a good cause. It's, it's literally just, here's some notable person talking about a thing. I'm going to take a position that gets me attention. It's it's one of the most cynical displays I've ever seen. And she's just a very unsophisticated, very callous individual. All right, so let's so let's kind of break some of that apart, I guess. Um so the claim about she kind of started characterizing herself as this as a psychometrician like... in in her first video appearance on Destiny Stream. So, so let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So if I started this conversation out like, hey, Sunday, um, just to give you some background on me, I'm a senior analyst at a Fortune 200 company. Cool. At that point, if I bring up that I'm an analyst again, am I like riding that wave of like, this is the authority I have on whatever we're talking about? Well, you can do multiple things with it, right? So, for instance, in this case, the reason for calling herself a psychometrician, when really what she is is a person with a basically clinical assistance uh, certificate and a psychology undergraduate degree, um, which is basically what Mr. Girl has minus the certificate, although maybe he even has that, right. I don't know. Um, the purpose initially is to generate interest. Ooh, this is an expert, right? Okay. A little, little naughty, but that's that's one thing. Um, when you then try to use the uh, the lack of, shall we say, practical um, familiarity with sort of like terms of art from your discipline, like hypothesis generation, which is which is not specifically a term of art from your discipline, but let's, let's use that as an example. The average person doesn't know. The average person knows what a hypothesis is. They understand how hypotheses um, are made. The term hypothesis generation is going to ring a little strange in their ears, right? It sounds very corporate. Um, if she's using the unfamiliarity with that kind of terminology as a bludgeon after the fact, that's not cool. If she's using that to defend um, a, a cynical defense of an obvious huckster like Dr. K... That's actually an unforgivable sin for an academic, as far as I'm concerned. Your job as an academic is to make things more scrutable for the general public, which doesn't have time to do what you what you are subsidized by the government to do. Um, if you're if you're using the failure of your profession uh, to educate the public more generally, so it can understand what you're saying, or if you're using terms of art that aren't meant for uh, public consumption. Um, to bully people in the general public in defense of uh, in defense of dishonest actors who are doing something similar, that's unforgivable. That's that's the that's the capital sin for an academic. Um, you are doing precisely the reverse of what society funds intellectual pursuits um, to accomplish. <laughs>